Welcome guys to the Crochet Beads channel. In this video tutorial I would like to share with you how I was crocheting this beautiful scarf. Perfect for men. If you are looking at perfect structure for men, for women, you can make as well a cowl. Uh, I did it super long. It is more than uh, one and a half meters. Uh, let, let's, let's measure it right away. So the width almost 20 centimeters almost 20 centimeters the lens let's measure the lens I want to tell you that I didn't wear this scarf as yet it will look even better when you wash and dry it flat So it is almost, let's say, okay, it's 80 centimeters, then it's even more than one and a half meter, 160 centimeters. Look at this structure, and uh, it reminds me uh, knitting, like a ribbon, knit one, pearl one. For this, for this scarf, I was using super bulky yarn, from color made easy it is uh, 20 gram 200 grams and 226 meters and you will need two balls so in total 400 grams and the hook that I was using it is seven millimeters and it is a little bit slightly bigger than what the yarn producer recommends on its label so look how great the the scarf and if you are looking for the present that you can make on your own trust me this this will be the perfect one so if you are ready let's get started i have done the chain that is a little bit longer than the length of the scarf that I want. So in my case it is 120. Make a chain one and now we are going to work into the back ridge only. So turn the chain and find the back ridges here, here. So let me take a smaller hook and show you so this is the back ridge and this is the back ridge and this one this one then this one through the back ridge make a single crochet one then through the next back ridge two and like this you go on making single crochet in each chain in total you will have 120 if you have the same length or using the same yarn that i'm using Insert the hook, yarn over, do up a loop, and again yarn over and pull through both loops. So this is a chain, you turn it and make a single crochet through the back ridge. And one more single crochet. and one more like this go on till the end and i will meet you there i have finished crocheting the first row at the end so this is the last ridge make single crochet 
Now chain one and turn. And now let me take the needle to show you what we are going to pick up and how we are going to crochet. Let's look at the first row of single crochet. The, our single crochet and when you turn you see this bar. This is not a front loop. Just look carefully. So this is a single crochet with front loop and back loop and here the bar that we, we will pick up. this one and this one at the very beginning. So we are going to crochet single crochet through these bars and first you will see how uncomfortable it is and how hard to insert the hook. So you see the first bar. For this I turn my hook with a sharp point, not like this, not with the hat of the hook because I cannot pick it up, but turn the hook in this way. The, don't worry, the first stitch will be always hard to pick up, so help yourself with the index finger and make a single crochet through this bar. So the next one you see here is the bar one more time this one so you insert the hook in this way then make a yarn over draw up a loop yarn over again and pull through two loops on your hook. I know it looks really hard and first you might think that no, I'm going to give up. Trust me, you will understand how to pick it up. So the chain from single crochet that we usually see on the top will be on the back part now and will form the main pattern and the structure of the scarf. So the next bar, insert the hook. The most important to find the right way how you're going to insert the hook. Maybe you have another type of hook and with a more sharp head and then you will manage to to do it as usually but for me i found a way to pick the bar when i turn the hook in this way and then make a single crochet like this and single crochet Again, the first time, the first couple of rows, it will be really hard, but please don't give up because result is amazing as you know already. Don't give up. And that's how it looks. On one side and on another side you see a braid. Like this you go on till the end and again at the end I will meet you at this point and we'll show how to do the last stitch. I've almost done the second row that how it looks and the last stitch so this one please do not skip it so 
So pick up the bar and make a single crochet. That's it. You see a small distance here. At the end you will see a zigzag edge. That is really cute. So chain one and turn. Again, this is the first stitch with its bar that you need to pick up. So this one, this one. And this stitch is usually the hardest. So you can help yourself as I'm doing. Okay, and make a single crochet. The next stitch, pick up and make a single crochet. The next one. So you see how I'm holding the, the chain, the stitches, making it easier to find and pick up. So like this. And make a single crochet. This is one side and another side. So we are doing everything correctly. And again. Crocheting this scarf will take some time. It's not one day scarf. <laughs> but don't give up. Um, but if you like watching something while crocheting, you will do it faster. And single crochet, you see? I'm doing it already faster and faster. Just a couple of more rows and you will be as a real professional. So like this, go on crocheting until you use of all skins or until the preferred width. Maybe you want it even wider than I did. Welcome guys back finally! It took me some time. I was a little bit lazy to finish the scarf and I finally did it. I'm so happy with the result. Look at this age. Absolutely great. You can add tassels if you want, but I like the edge as it is. So the last stitch, make chain one and cut the yarn. So I just have a short tail that will not be enough for one more row. Now let's weave this tail. On this side I'm going to use smaller size hook and in this way weave in and One more. Okay. Pull it and cut. 
great I did already the same with all my other tails so let's cut this part and we are done look at this gorgeous scarf now you will need only to wash it then to dry it flat and it will look even better thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial with me please subscribe to my channel like this video because it's very important please support me uh, you can also leave comments i will be happy to answer all your questions if you have any thank you again and see you